Have you ever picked up a rock and found a roly-poly? While they're not native to North America, they are found in almost every backyard in the United States. Because roly-polies are so common, most people don't realize how incredibly cool they are. These amazing little creatures are often misidentified as insects, but they are not insects at all. In fact, roly-polies are terrestrial isopods, an order of the subphylum Crustacea. Insects and crustaceans both belong to the phylum Arthropoda. Arthropods are invertebrates with segmented bodies, jointed limbs, and a chitinous outer shell, or exoskeleton. Insects are defined by their three distinct body parts, the head, thorax, and abdomen, three pairs of legs, which attach to the thorax, compound eyes, and antenna. Crustaceans, on the other hand, exhibit a more, more variety in their body plans. Like insects, they have three body regions, but are less distinguishable from one another. The head, known as the cephalon, is often fused with the perion, or thorax, and that is referred to as the cephalothorax. The abdomen, or pleon, is often indistinguishable from the thorax. Each body segment of a crustacean can bear legs, and there is no limit to the number of legs found in crustaceans. Isopods have a total of 14 segments. The first segment is fused with the head. The next seven free segments make up the greatest portion of the body, and the final six smaller segments are fused to comprise the isopod's abdomen. The structure of the roly-poly gives it a unique capability to curl into a ball to avoid predators. This is just one of the many adaptations that have allowed isopods to exist on Earth since before the Carboniferous period. The fossil records suggest all of the earliest isopod species lived in aquatic habitats. But approximately three million years ago, isopods began to crawl out of the water and adapt to life on land. Today there are over 10,000 species of isopod. 5,000 of those being terrestrial. Even after all these years, terrestrial isopods retain their gills, which are located on the underside of their abdomen. But the gills of the terrestrial isopod are slightly different from their water-dwelling cousins. The folds on the surface of the first two pairs of gills have evolved into hollow branches, which is what allows them to breathe air. In fact, they are so good at breathing air that if they fall into water and cannot escape, they will drown. Isopods have a multitude of adaptations that set them apart from other land-dwelling invertebrates, one of which is the fact that terrestrial isopods do not urinate. Ammonia is a byproduct of metabolism, but in gas form it is highly toxic to most animals. It's no match for the isopod. They simply release ammonia gas through openings in their exoskeleton. The ability to pass poison gas through their skin is not even the strangest adaptation isopods have. They also possess the ability to absorb water on the surface of the soil through specialized structures called uropods located in the anal opening, which means they can drink through both their mouth and their anus. Isopods are nocturnal animals, and because they never adapted the same waxy coating as insects, they must remain hidden in moist places during the day. At night, when they do venture out, they feed primarily on plant waste. Waste eaters are known as detrivores. Detrivores are extremely important to the health of the ecosystem because they break down fallen leaves, fungi, and even animal waste and return those necessary nutrients to the soil. Mature female isopods can carry 100 to 200 fertilized eggs in a pouch called a marsupium on the ventral side of their perion or thorax. Once the eggs hatch, they stay in the marsupium for an additional one to two weeks and feed off the marsupium fluid. When the babies emerge, they have a chemical badge that allows mom to keep up with them. It'd be a lot of work to keep track of 200 toddlers. The young isopods will molt or shed their exoskeleton every one to two weeks until they reach adulthood, which usually happens around week 18. Adult isopods are usually brown or gray in color and can live from two to five years. All too often, we think to study science, we have to venture out to far off places. But evolutionary biology is all around us. The adaptations that exist in the most common creatures are what gave rise to their abundance. 